Hi, I'm Brittany. Thanks for tuning in to Float's Time Tracking Tips. The key to unlocking the full potential of resource planning within Float is through time tracking because it isn't just about collecting hours for payroll. Time tracking alongside your resource planning within Float allows you to compare a person's scheduled time against their actual time, enabling you to improve your team's efficiency and forecast future projects more confidently. Before you're knee deep in analyzing your scheduled time versus your log time data though, you will need to make sure that you know the basics. So over the next few minutes together, we'll touch upon how to set up your time tracking, we'll review the ways that your team can log and track their time, and finally, we'll look at how to compare your team's scheduled versus log time using your float reporting. Float time tracking is meant to be less work and more insightful. You can see the full picture of your team's time within one tool to plan and track your project work. To get started with setting up your team for time tracking, we'll need to consider two things, your team's notifications and the locking of your team's time tracking period. Let's start with notifications. An account owner has the option to set team time tracking email reminders via team settings. To set this, you'll come to your team settings icon, navigate to team settings, an account owner will come to notification, down to time tracking reminder emails, and you'll set the frequency from never, daily, weekly, and what day of the week you will like to have these sent out. Additionally, every float member can customize their individual float notifications to ensure that you're always on track. Navigate to the notification icon in the lower left hand corner, and each individual will find three dots in the upper right hand corner. And here you'll have the ability to set up a weekly reminder to log your time. Additionally, you can set up Slack notifications or notifications within your Flow app. The next administrative point to consider is that you can lock your team's log time, preventing changes and improving reporting and billing accuracy. The account owner can set limits on when your team can edit their timesheets from the locked log time tab within team settings. You'll navigate to the very bottom here. And here you can set up the frequency interval at which you'd like to lock time for your team. From here, you can choose to either turn locked log time on for your team or off. And you'll simply want to choose week, month, or year, and the lock log dates, the day after the end of what time period. If changes need to be made once a period has been locked, an administrator or account owner will need to support the change. As such, once the time frame is decided upon, it's important to communicate this deadline across the organization. Great, now you're all set up. Let's jump into logging and reviewing your time within Float. You'll navigate back to your schedule view and you'll wanna select log time from the drop-down menu. Here, your view will change depending on your access rights. A people manager will see their assigned team members here, while an administrator may see the entire team and an individual contributor may only see themselves. Your log team is a mirror image of your schedule, giving your team a starting point for logging their time. However, it's a unique data set, so changes made to your log time will not impact your schedule. Your schedule data is always preserved. You'll notice that tasks spanning multiple days and repeating tasks are broken up so that adjustments can be made at the day level. Additionally, tentative tasks do not appear within the log team view. Initiate your loop by selecting a chosen date range by dragging and dropping across the dates at the top of your log team. Your team's cumulative unlogged hours appear to the left near the date range, and each person's unlogged hours are displayed next to their name, giving you an idea of how your team is tracking towards logging their time. You can click directly into a task to adjust hours and log time, or a manager can click directly next to an individual's name to log all unlogged hours during the time period. Here's a tip. To prevent your team from logging more time to a project, archive it. Archiving preserves your scheduled and logged hours, but makes a project read-only. Team members can track and manage their individual logged hours by clicking the clock symbol on the left-hand side. A daily tally of hours logged is displayed next to each day and total hours logged for the week are shown in the upper right hand corner. You can log hours three ways. First, quick editing within your schedule and selecting log within each individual task. 
Next, clicking into a task to make additional edits and logging your time. And finally, by approving all pre-populated time and selecting log all in the upper right hand corner. I'll show you an example of a lock time sheet. Looking at last week's time card, you'll see it's locked and unable to make changes. Another great option is that team members can go and log their time easily via the Flow app for iOS and Android. Now your time tracking is set up, your team is logging time within Float, so let's consider how you can leverage this data to make more informed planning decisions. The report page found in the left sidebar gives you a true view of both the estimated time that appears on the schedule and the actual time that your team logs. Via your reports, you can view both your logged and scheduled time in isolation, you can view your past log and future scheduled time together, or compare your logged versus scheduled time. One consideration here to note, logged hours do not display in reporting until the date after they're logged. For example, tasks logged for today's date will not display in reporting until tomorrow. Let's say you want to see a breakdown of your team's log time for this quarter, Navigate to time tracking and you'll be able to see a breakdown of each individual's time. Know that you always have the option to export this data, navigating to the upper right hand corner and choosing to export either your chart or table. You can also see a breakdown of your logged hours by projects, navigating to your project reports, selecting the appropriate project from the table, and you'll see the ability to view time tracking by project. Again, you always have the option to export this data. That wraps up an overview of time tracking within Float. You're now better prepared to set up time tracking, to begin logging your time, and to start leveraging your scheduled versus log data. If you haven't taken the leap to add time tracking to your team quite yet, we extend the offer to give you a free 30-day trial. Our sales team is happy to set up a more in-depth demo and answer any questions you may have. Additionally, we have an unparalleled live support team available here within the Float platform. Never hesitate to reach out to them with any questions, big or small, that you may have. Navigate to the question mark in the lower left-hand corner, select chat, and a live support team member will get back to you shortly. Thank you.